Well, with the allergy season starting, we are speaking to doctors about how you can tell the difference between an allergy and something else like COVID. ABC Action News reporter Mary O'Connell with what experts have to say. It's getting to be that time of year again with your allergies acting up, but we're still in a pandemic. So local doctors are helping break down what to look for between allergies and COVID-19. Here in Tampa, Pollen.com's current allergy report puts us at high today. I spoke to Dr. Farnaz Tabatabayan, an associate professor of allergy and immunology at USF Health. For allergies, common symptoms, she says, are itchy eyes, runny nose, congestion, sneezing, even sometimes coughing. With COVID-19, experts point out usually you may have a dry cough, fever, muscle aches, tiredness, and sore throat. The congestion, runny nose um, is the main thing that overlaps with allergies. With the difference is that allergies, it persists um, and doesn't go away um, necessarily, whereas with um, COVID, it's a transient time. And then if, it, if you are going to progress to more symptoms, you'll be more symptomatic with um, COVID. Experts also say while COVID it can cause shortness of breath or difficulty breathing. Seasonal allergies usually don't, unless you have a condition like asthma that can be triggered by pollen exposure. Because testing is readily available right now, doctors say if you start having symptoms and you typically don't have allergies this time of year, you should probably get checked out just in case. In Tampa, Mary O'Connell, ABC Action News. Well, some of the county sites that opened during the spike in cases at the beginning of this year are now closed, but we have a current list of places where you can get tested for free on ABCActionNews.com under our coronavirus section.